Laker Nation, I'm hooking you up with a chance to win $25. Here's all you got to do. The Lakers and Warriors are playing in a preseason game tonight. If you were the first one to predict the score correctly and tell me who wins, we're going to Venmo you $25. Just put it in the comment section below and we'll make sure to get you that $25 via Venmo. Let's get into our show today. Now, Anthony Davis does have an injury, and that is what we absolutely need to address first and foremost here on the Lakers report. Look, the big man, the star, the future of the franchise has a sprained thumb. Now, am I that worried about it? No, but he is going to have some MRIs. He's going to be able to get some examinations on that thumb. So far, the Lakers do not believe there's any ligament damage, and that is good news if you're a Lakers fan and an Anthony Davis fan because we want to see him healthy. We want to see him be that top five player. And starting the season out with a torn ligament in your thumb is not a good way to do it. Again, nothing there yet, but we'll see what happens. Now, in the preseason so far, he's been playing against the Brooklyn Nets, a game against the Warriors, 14.7 points per game, five boards, two assists, 1.3 blocks, all of this coming in about 18 and a half minutes per game. He's really had a really, really good showing in the preseason, especially coming off a season where he wasn't playing consistently. We've seen him play really well in this preseason. I don't like to take too much stock into what happens before the regular season, but it's been a good showing from Anthony Davis so far. Now, let's take a look at some of the bigs, some of the forwards, the guys that could step in in case Davis is out for longer than we expect him to be. You've got Dwight Howard. You just signed him. He hasn't had a great showing in preseason yet, but I think he's going to come around. JaVale McGee, of course, is there. He's had a really good showing so far. Kyle Kuzma, now he's out until about mid-October, maybe late October. We'll see if he makes it for the uh, regular season opener. Then after that, it's Jared Dudley and Kosas Antetokounmpo, guys that could step into that forward role. Now, of course, LeBron can play power forward, but that's not where you want him to be. These are just the guys, the bigs, I guess, quote unquote. Jared Dudley, not really a big. Kosas Antetokounmpo, not re ready for regular season NBA minutes quite yet. But these are your options if Anthony Davis is out for an extended period of time. Now, without Anthony Davis, you got to look at what a starting five or really just the roster in general kind of looks like. So on the court, this is kind of what I predict to step in while he takes a back seat, sits out a few games with that thumb injury. Avery Bradley, that's your new point guard. I truly believe he gets the start here on out. Danny Green, of course, is there. And then you slip in Contavious Caldwell-Pope as the starting three. LeBron James go, goes ahead and starts at the four, even though that's not really where you want him. But then you got JaVale McGee down low because I'd rather have this lineup than anything else. Now, if Kyle Kuzma's healthy, yes, absolutely put him in at the four, LeBron back to the three. But right now, we don't know when Kuzma's going to be back, so this is kind of what you have to roll with if you are the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, something that I did a little bit of a deep dive into and was like, hey, I got to look at these stats and kind of figure out who else is going to score on this team. Because you take LeBron out of the equation. If you take Anthony Davis out of the equation, and of course, Kyle Kuzma. Now, LeBron's healthy. There's no, no report, no injury report there. LeBron is healthy, but let's just take him out of this. Who are the next leading scorers on this team? Again, no Kuzma for who knows how long, and no Davis, potentially for a little bit with that thumb injury, even though I'm not exactly concerned with it. You got JaVale McGee. He's your fourth leading scorer at 12 points per game, seven and a half boards. That's good, not great. Contavious Caldwell-Pope. He is not consistent. He's not reliable. You do not want him as the next leading scorer on this team. And then Danny Green. Now, I think Danny Green can average more than 10 points per game on this Lakers team. In fact, I expect him to average more than 10 points per game for the Lakers this year. But again, you don't want to rely on guys like JaVale McGee, KCP, and Danny Green. I didn't even mean to rhyme there, but it kind of did. As your leading scorers for these Lakers teams. It's AD, LeBron, and Kuzma. But without Kuzma and AD... I don't know who's going to score besides LeBron James. So I got to ask you guys, what is your concern level with AD's injury? Scale of 1 to 10. Now, with the actual injury, I'll go ahead and say my concern level is at like a 3. Not exactly a 0 because any kind of injury is worth being concerned about. Not exactly higher than 3 because... It's just a sprained thumb. I think he'll be back by the regular season opener. I'm not that scared about it. But if he is, if, if torn ligaments show, which we do not know the MRI, MRI results at the time that we're filming this show, there could be some concern. But we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let me know in the comment section below. 1 to 10, how concerned are you with Anthony Davis? Now, if you're feeling good about the Lakers like the rest of the NBA is, 
you want to put some money down and start winning some money with bet dsi go to chatsports.com slash bet and when you use promo code lakers 120 again let me give it to you again write it down scribble it down on a piece of paper type it out in your phone promo code lakers 120 with bet dsi they're going to give you a little extra cha-ching to bet with for the lakers games so if you want to feel confident in betting on some preseason games some regular season games Go to chatsports.com slash bet, bet DSI, use promo code Lakers120, 120% deposit bonus. You put that deposit down, they're going to give you a little bit of extra money to bet with. Go use our partners at bet DSI. Now let's talk about this China trip that the Lakers went on. They played the Brooklyn Nets in back-to-back -back games. They lost twice to the Nets, 114-111 to 111 in the first game. It was a close one. And then 91-77, to 77, not so close in that second game. But there were some interesting notes about both those games. Kyrie Irving only played in one minute in the first game. And then he didn't play in the second game because he had a little fracture in his face. Not a good thing for the Nets. And then Karis LeVert, he also only played in one minute during that first game. And you see the starting five, what Brooklyn rolled out that night in the first one. Kyrie and LeVert, that's your backcourt, but only for a minute. And then they took them both out because Kyrie got hurt. Karis LeVert, you know... He didn't need to be in there that much longer. Joe Harris at the three, Torian Prince at the four, and DeAndre Jordan at the five. The Nets are still kind of tinkering with their starting five, I believe. And then for the Lakers on that first night, you went with Rondo, KCP, LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Dwight Howard. Again, an interesting little starting five there. Frank Vogel clearly trying to experiment in these preseason games. Now in that first game, the leading scorers for the Lakers, LeBron finished with 20 points and six boards in 25 minutes. Standard LeBron. Now 25 minutes, I expect him to play, you know, closer to 27-ish per game, but you don't want him playing that much until the postseason. Rondo had a really nice night offensively, 18 points and five boards in 24 minutes. And then AD, before he got hurt in the second game, he had a nice game in the first one, 16 points and two boards in 25 minutes as well. Now, game number two, the Brooklyn Nets rolled out this starting five. Again, no Kyrie Irving. He stayed out because of that fracture in his face. Spencer Dinwiddie was your starting point guard, and then it was Karis LeVert was back. Joe Harris. Rodion Skurux, the second-year player, uh, was a second-round pick last year. And then Jared Allen, a great rim protector. We actually saw him block, I believe, LeBron James in one of those games. He looks good. I like Jared Allen a lot. And then the Matt, or excuse me, the Lakers roll out another lineup. Rajon Rondo, Avery Bradley, Danny Green, LeBron, and Davis. So this is kind of where you see LeBron go back to that four, stop, four position. And the Lakers rolled out three guards in Rondo, Bradley, and Green. This isn't a lineup I expect to see a lot. I think you're either going to have Rondo or Avery Bradley out there more often than not. But I kind of like what I saw from these guys. Bradley had a good game, 14 points and four boards. But he did play 30 minutes, so... Maybe you expect a little bit more production out of him. Contavious Caldwell Pope, 11 points, six boards in 25 minutes. And then JaVale McGee, nine points, three rebounds in 14 minutes. Here's a little note about this game. LeBron and AD only played 12 minutes each. They didn't want to play them too much on this second game, in this second game, excuse me. And this is the night that AD got hurt with that sprained thumb. So nothing you really want to overwork them. But it was back-to-back -back losses against a Brooklyn team, one of which they didn't even have their best player in Kyrie Irving. It was interesting to see. So I want to know from you guys, what concerned you the most about the Lakers' back-to-back -back losses in preseason? Now, for me, I said it at the top of our show, I don't take that much stock into preseason games. But there is room for concern when you lose to a team that's missing Kyrie Irving like the Brooklyn Nets were. But again, don't get too worked up, Laker fans. I wouldn't worry about these losses too much. But if anything concerned you, go ahead and express that down below in the comments section. Now, from a recap to a preview of tonight's game against the Golden State Warriors, the Warriors are 1-1 one one in the preseason so far. They, of course, lost to the Lakers in the first game, and then they beat the Minnesota Timberwolves. In fact, they beat the brakes off the Minnesota Timberwolves. Steph Curry put up 40 points in that game. And the last three preseason games are going to be against the Los Angeles Lakers, back to back to back, which is super weird, but it's good for both teams that they don't have to travel that far. They get to stay in California. Now, here's what I expect to roll out for the Warriors. This is what they've been, they rolled out against the, the Timberwolves. You got Steph and D'Lo, that's your backcourt. Glenn Robinson the third is your starting small forward. Draymond Green, the power forward. And then their starting center right now is Marquise Chris because Kevon Looney is out. Alan Smilogic is out. Willie Cauley-Stein is out. So you're rolling out Marquise Chris, who has really just not done much in his NBA career. Speaking of injuries, let's go ahead and run down all the injuries for the Warriors and who I don't expect to play in this first game. 
Kevon Looney is one of them. Willie Cauley-Stein is another. And then Smile Ajich, their draft pick, who was in the G League last season. And then the third, the fourth guy, Alec Burks. He's one of their wings who they signed this offseason. He, of course, committed to the Thunder and then was like, nope, I'm out. Went to the Warriors. But now he's hurt. I don't expect him to play in this preseason game for the Dubs. And then the Lakers. Here's what I think we're going to see. I mentioned it earlier now that AD is out for a little bit. Avery Bradley, the point guard. Danny Green at the two. KCP at the three. You go LeBron James here at the four and JaVale McGee at the five. I think it makes the most sense. I think we could see this is really where Frank Vogel gets a chance to show what he can do as a head coach. You know, how do you deal with a star player like Anthony Davis going down with an injury like that? So let me know in the comment section below. I got one last question for you guys. Who will be the Lakers leading scorer in Monday night's game? Remember, if you predict the correct score and you predict the winner of the game, First one to do that in the comment section is going to get 25 bucks from us here at Chat Sports. But I also want to know from you guys who's going to be the leading scorer for the Lakers. Now, before I let you guys go, I need to remind you to go to BetDSI, chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code that we're giving to our Laker fans only. This is a secret just for you guys. You type in Lakers120 on that first deposit, you get a 120% deposit bonus on your first bet. Whatever Lakers game it is, maybe it's just any NBA game. You just want to bet on your team. Lakers 120, chatsports.com slash bet.